and that's obviously so important considering the, the processing power and you know just the the, the, and the energy required to, to run a lot of these AI um, processes. So the, the, the question I would then ask is, you know, and uh, I'm sorry to get into the, the technical a little bit, why isn't everyone just adopting this technology that you guys have got? The endpoint market is huge. There's 30 billion devices are made every year. You are surrounded by processors that are capable of some form of AI. The reason that you don't see that very often is because AI is very computationally intense. What folks like Satya are talking about, uh, that first inference, that first word that you type into chat GPT, something like as 10 quadrillion operations. So we're talking about megawatts of power. Endpoint AI is completely different and it's supposed to be operated on, on batteries, it's supposed to go on your wrist and it has to be very low power. So we're talking microwatts instead of uh, megawatts. And that's only recently, you know, the last 10 years or so that Ambic has been able to, to drop the power from normal to about one tenth of the power. So that's really opening a lot of new markets. All right, could you share numbers, Carlos? Could you substantiate by numbers in terms of how the demand environment is shaping up for you and what's the outlook thereof? Well, we're already in something like seven out of 10 wearable smartwatch manufacturers. And so that market is still growing quite a bit, but we're looking at other markets such as uh, remote patient monitoring with changing demographics of the planet and the aging of the population. The healthcare is looking more and more towards things like remote patient monitoring. The traditional way to do that is to collect a bunch of data, go back to the office and you talk to a doctor. Post COVID, what we're seeing is a lot of analytics happening right at the house, right on your wrist. Instead of getting information about here's your ECG over 30 days, you're collecting just analytics about your electrocardiogram and you're sending only the relevant information to the doctors. And that's, uh, that's something that we need. We're not making enough doctors to keep up with the population. So that's one massive uh, market that's exploding. I would say industrial IoT, we're seeing a lot of uh, interest in AI on those uh, plant monitors and so on. Uh, definitely a lot of activity.